So I wanted to show some concrete crafts that I'm working on here. <clears throat> so you see here um, some hands. My daughter-in-law did these. Um, you fill uh, rubber gloves with concrete and let it set and then you peel the rubber glove off and you've got hands that um, you have to shape them. Some people lay them in a bowl so that they have, you know, a cup shape. If you t lay the rubber glove into a bowl, it will make the shape of a hand, kind of keep the shape of a hand, depending on what you want to use them for, what you want to do with them. We wanted them to hold something. But, um, Ashley, that's my daughter-in-law, she actually laid them over the edge of her porch to get this shape. So anyway, I painted these up and they're already finished, but I made this. These are two pieces. They are not together. I just lined a bowl and put concrete in it, ran it up the sides of the bowl a little bit, and then laid leaves to give it a texture on the inside. Just experiment, and I really didn't even have anything in mind exactly what I was going to use it for. And then I had um, found some different plastic bowls and things at a thrift shop that I thought might work good for doing concrete. And this was actually um, an onion keeper, a Tupperware onion keeper. And it had this nice little half orb shape. And I thought, well, that's cool. I can use that for something. So I poured one of these. And uh, I was bringing them into the house because I want to paint them up. And this is where I'm doing my painting right now. So when I went to bring them up, I just laid it in the center of here. And quite by accident, I thought, oh, my goodness, that looks like a flower. So that's what I'm going to paint this up as. I'm not exactly sure what colors I'm going to use yet. I think maybe pinks and oranges and yellows, something in that line for this. Um, but so, yeah, that's what that's going to be. And then over here, I'm working on a basket planner that I made. This is um, dipped in concrete. So... You see videos all over the place where people take different, um, maybe bath towels or old towels or cloth of some sort and dip it in concrete and drape it over a pot or drape it over something and it hardens and, and you have this shape. Well, I thought, why not take yarn that I got at a thrift shop and crochet the basic shape that I wanted. So it would already kind of have the form that I wanted and then dip that in concrete and um, hang it so that it just hardens, but already kind of has the form anyway. So that's what I tried and um, it's pretty good. It probably could use some more concrete, like it's stiff. I think it will hold soil and everything okay. But we'll see. We'll see how it lasts. It may, it, I'm not sure. It's it's kind of stiff, like, you know, you can pick it up and everything. But I also think, like, if I really pulled on that, it would break down. But I'm just going to see. It's, it's an experiment. I want to see how long it lasts. So I'm painting it up. I have it, the outside is painted this light blue color. Uh, yeah called light blue and then I'm going to do some like dry brushing with this Bahama blue and tropical blue over top so it'll be like three different colors um yeah so we'll see how long that lasts I like the shape of it and uh, I like the look of it it may need some altering in the future if I try it again but like I said, experiment. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that's just a, a couple things that I'm doing right now. And um, I'll come back and show you what this is like when it's all finished. Hey everybody, so this is an update to show you how uh, some of these concrete crafts that I painted up turned out. This is the one that looked like a flower. Um, I painted it with pink and then kind of dry brushed uh, tangerine color and then red over the top. 
And then the center I made orange, like a pumpkin orange, and then dry brushed yellow over the top. And the sun may be playing with um, the colors so that they're not looking quite accurate on the camera, but I'm happy with it. I'm not sure that I'm going to let it here. I just have it on the porch right now, but I need to get some sealer spray. I did not seal this yet, so I don't want to put it out in the weather until I have it sealed. So there is that. And then I'm going to move over here and show you a couple of other things. Okay, so here is the other planter that I did. Um, I'm very happy with it. I love how it turned out. I love the colors. Love how it looks. I planted one of the hostas that I rescued in there. I put some creeping thyme and a sedum at the side. Put a couple of pretty stones on the top. So there is that. And then I also am very excited about this. So I was puttering in the basement and I found an old pump that I had down there from a water feature that I had on the porch years ago. And I've been wanting to make a couple water features, so I put this together. I had this pot. My aunt actually does ceramics um, and gave this to me some years back. So I'm using it as the base. And then I just filled it with stones and a seashell. My hope is that the hummingbirds will use this as a bird bath. We shall see. But even so, it sounds really pretty running. So I'm really excited about that. Now I am going to do a solar one as well. I have that pump ordered. You don't have to plug it in. You just put, place a solar panel in the sun and um, you know put the put the bath part of it together however you want to. There are so many different ways and I'm not even sure how I'm going to do it yet but that one I will put out in a sunny area and see if I can get some birds coming into it whenever it gets here. So I will show you that whenever I do that as well. But in the meantime, I really, really hope the hummingbirds come into this. The feet, There's some feeders right on the other end of the porch here. There, I hear one right now. Uh, they come into the feeder, so I would love it if they come in here and use this too. If I could get video I will do that. But anyway, just an update guys. Hey there everybody. I wanted to show you my newest uh, fun thing that I've been trying here and that is making my own hummingbird feeders. You can take a container that is around up to like four inches high. Some of the things I read said you can even go higher than that because a hummingbird's beak is I think it said two inches and then their tongue is another two inches long so like if you have a container that's around four inches they can get down into that so I started trying making some of my own feeders here you can see I used this is a spice bottle and um, they already have holes in the top so I just took non-toxic paint and painted the top red with yellow and then I put the nectar in there which is just um, it's four to one so like if you're making a cup of nectar for the birds it's a quarter cup of sugar to one cup of water that's what you want I made this red with some red food coloring because I'm trying to attract them to get them to start using this for the first time after they start using it, I will not put the red food coloring in. You don't need it. Um, the only reason I put it in is to establish, to get them to start using this, because I'm hoping it'll catch their eye easier. Um, anyway, so I've, of course, been through going through all my cupboards and things, looking for all these different containers that I might have that will work. And look at this, you guys. So I have these, um, this was a candle jar. It had a candle in it. And you can see here how this used to fit in there. It has this plastic that goes on the bottom part of this. 
So I just pulled the plastic off of there and I can fill this jar with nectar, take a soldering gun and put a hole in the center of that, use some red paint here on this. Again, non-toxic paint. Read the, read the label on the paint, guys. It's just acrylic paints. It'll tell you, it'll say non-toxic. Put this in here and hope that they will start coming to this. I'm going to try it. This is a great way to use some of these old candle jars if this works. I'm really excited to try this. This one has enough of a lip here that I can, I think, run wire around this one and then up and I can make this into a hanging one actually, which is, that's what I'm going to try anyway. I'll bring you over here and show you uh, some others that I did. And I have seen them at this one. So I had this, I had an old hummingbird feeder that the top was junk. Okay, whatever happened to it, I think it got cracked, but I kept the bottom because I keep this kind of stuff thinking, oh, I can use that somehow. Then I had this old maple syrup jar that was pretty. So I kept it and lo and behold, it was the right size. I could snap that into there and use that and they're coming to this. So this one has worked. And over here, this one is another, uh, this was a candle jar that I, it had no lid, but I put the nectar in there. Then I took a plastic lid that I had that just fits down over that painted it red. I poked a hole the same way with a soldering gun and then I took apart a silk flower that I had and they have a hole in the center. So I just hot glued them to the top to make it look like a flower and I've seen them come to this one as well. And uh, what I have laying here is I made up a bird bath. I got a little solar pump. Now that thing is not running. It's just like uh, pulsing right now because it's in the shade. When it's in the sun, it runs. I'm trying to make a bird bath. And this is just a quick setup. I used a vase that I had. Um, this is not a permanent setup. I wanted to see if the pump would run and if they would come in. But I actually want to make a concrete um, sort of bowl that I can put the solar pump down in and put stones in. I, I don't, I'm not even sure. I have to mess with that and see what I can come up with. But anyway, I'm really excited about these making your own Hummer feeders. So I, like I said, they've come to this one. They are coming to this one. They checked out this other one over here, but I'm not sure if they drank out of it yet or not. But and I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. I'm really excited about using up these candle jars this way because I, I love candles, guys, and I love burning them, and I always hated just throwing them away. Like, what can I use them for? You can store things in these, too. That works really good, but after a while, you get so many of them, you know, you don't need that anymore, so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to try this. I don't know if all of them have the plastic that goes the whole way across the bottom of these I mean that might be something to look for but this one did so I'm um, gonna try it and we'll see how it works okay guys have a good one mm -hmm.